So thanks, Vice President Yang. Uh, first, I want to welcome everyone, uh, every faculty, our distinguished speaker, and the participants, uh, including part uh, many from overseas. Uh, good morning, and Hachibe Mashte, Ohio Gozaimas, and Anyo Haseyo. First, I really want to thank Tsinghua, uh, specifically uh, Vice President Yang and uh, Professor Yao, so give us the opportunity uh, to do this event together in Tsinghua today, also at the MSI facility tomorrow. Uh, we, we do this event every other year, and I think it's a, I, I, I really love this opportunity. One is I think we get faculty in Asia Pacific together uh, to talk about the topic we are all interested in and share our experience and best practice. And, and for, my, for me personally, I think also uh, it's an opportunity for me to actually uh, meet and uh, also the, 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 the contact with uh, many friends uh, I, I have, we have the, over the year. Uh, we do business here, and then many of them really become our lifelong uh, personal friends. So I look forward to actually uh, uh, talking to you uh, the, over the, the course of these two days. Uh, so first, I really want to give a brief introduction of the Microsoft, right? the status of Microsoft and the status of Microsoft research. And, uh, and I think you know in the last year, I think there's a, there's a lot, there's a quite a quite changes in Microsoft, and you, you, heard, you heard a lot from our press, uh, from press, and, and I think internally we actually feel very excited. And sometimes I, know, I don't know how this message got, got across, so I think the, uh, I want to actually point out a few things which, which really uh, drive uh, our work uh, now and also for the foreseeable future. And, and Pre President Yang mentioned uh, our CEO Satya visit uh, Asia uh, last month, not just China, also visit the Tsinghua University, have a dialogue with students, also visit uh, Korea, and I also have a chance to talk, talk to him, and I think we, inside Microsoft, we're all very excited about this new opportunity and new focus. So uh, here is the, the slide, sort of outline what we think we are as a company. So we are living in a mobile-first and cloud-first world, and I think that's really no no disagreement. I mean, it, all over the world, uh, this mobile internet era, and not just today, I think for foreseeable future, it will be a mobile first and cloud first. And then what, how about our core? And I think many ways you can think about Microsoft, and I think we think our core is productivity and platform. So let me explain what productivity means. Productivity, of course, you know Office, okay? And I think that I, I'm sure the, you, when you actually work trying to produce something, right? trying to do some productivity work. You, you will use Windows and Office specifically, and then people will continue to do that. And we have to do more. And I think the, not just stop there. And then some people think, well, they, yeah, this is something we need, but what else? Can you do more? I mean, so f in the first and for more, we actually will make all our productivity service and the software cross-platform, cross-device. So you see, you see uh, our Office suite, uh, not only it's on the cloud, O365, and also the client base, we also on iOS, Android, and Windows, of course. And so that, that, that is really a very big change. And also, uh, some form of the, the office will actually be, uh, when you use mobile, the mobile version, you don't expect a big screen, big menu. We actually, we actually enhance the function, uh, partic part particularly in SCI aspect, and I think that's that's the first first thing I want people to take away. Second thing is the productivity uh, does not just end in work. Something we call digital work and digital life. So uh, some people might think Microsoft is more like doing enterprise. Yeah, indeed, we we actually make a, uh, quite a big business in the enterprise software, but digital life. In the digital life, when you, someone call, uh, most people call consumer sector. In consumer sector, there are also a lot of things you want to do for productivity. Let me make an example. Uh, let's say in the, this weekend, uh, coming weekend, you want to have a party at home. Then you need to build your sort of invitation form, invitation flyer, whether electronic form or in a paper form. 
and you need to design it. You want to design with your personal touch, and you need to send it out. Then you need to have a mechanism, either by email, by some other software, or by your uh, short message, or WeChat, WhatsApp, those kind of things. You need to count the number of people will come to your house. Then you need to prepare a shopping list. Then you could need to go to shopping, whether online or go to the physical store. Then if you, let's say you uh, like to cook yourself, then you need to prepare a recipe, and then so you will do some cooking at home uh, during the day or the day before, prepare things. And then during the party, you will take a lot of picture and video. After the party, you will uh, edit and then, and then share on some social network. So all these things I mentioned, it's a product, it's really, it's a, in, the, in the light, the digital life, you actually need to do productivity work. And we want, we want you to uh, use uh, the Microsoft software and service that can help you and empower you to do this conveniently and also uh, produce something, uh, the ideal, and also uh, help you to increase your productivity. So that's, that's what, I'm, what we mean, productivity. And, and then the platform, okay? Uh, platform also, Microsoft software always always uh, it's, a, it's a platform, Windows, and I think the, uh, our ecosystem. And now we also do things more openly, in particular for, for uh, this community. For instance, our Azure uh, cloud services, right? Uh, we, we already five quarter, we see three digits uh, increase, which is more than 100%, right? Uh, and then also we support cross-platform, Linux, open source, we as a company even start uh, something called Open Tech, a, sub, a wholly owned subsidiary, and we also start a comp we also start a branch in China, Open Tech, and then the purpose is really to contribute and also help to promote open source community, which I think to to a lot of people this actually surprised people. What the Microsoft will actually do this, and then just two weeks ago, I mean just uh, now I actually you, you see I actually add my my duty as the uh, chairman for. Asia-Pacific uh, R&D group, so I also take care of some of this. Two weeks ago, we, we the Open Tech, and uh, three, sorry, 30 other companies in China actually created something called Kai Yuan Se. So basically just a, a new initiative to actually uh, the help and also contribute, also uh, hopefully also leverage the, the open source um, community in China. And I think we actually have those kind of uh, activity all around the world as well. So I think that's really new change of uh, Microsoft. And then uh, President Yang mentioned, uh, this, is, this is exactly in, in actually, this, I think this is in law school, I pretty the, the, the student dialogue uh, in Tsinghua a month ago. And then uh, Harry also came with uh, Sati. And also for, uh, and many of you know Harry also, the, your, uh, personal friend is my predecessor, and now he run all the TNR, and, uh, which include the MSR. So I think the, uh, you, will, you, you will also, you will, I hope you will see a lot of Harry in the, in the near future, in future. And then I think the, in, the, in the student dialogue, I think Satya clearly articulate all this stuff. And I, I, want, I want to let you know, inside Microsoft, we all feel very, very excited about this new focus. And then it's uh, so far, in the press and also our customer, uh, they, they all receive this very well and they, as, as reflected in our stock price, okay, which is definitely not a, that is a very good thing. And then Microsoft MSR, we, we stay the, the, the same one with three, three mission, advanced state of the art, tran tech transfer, ensure Microsoft has a future, we stay the true. And I think the, uh, uh, the only thing different Okay, I would say is we need to up our ambition in, in terms of all three things, and I'm so glad we, uh, Jeanette here will participate the whole, uh, this today event. I think the, not only we uh, reassure this, but I want to tell you, our ambition level actually go up at least several notch. We want, in each of this area, we want to make sure we do, uh, not, only, not only the world class, we want, want to be, I mean, so, some, some, Internally, we use this next big thing, right? How do we actually find, then, or you, some people call innovation. And I think the, oh, one thing I want to share with you. The first day, Satya, in, as a CEO, he actually say, uh, there's one quote resonates so much in me, like, our industry doesn't respect tradition. 
it only respect innovation. And I think uh, I like this because Microsoft is a traditional company. I mean, in terms of you compared to our our competitor, we we actually have almost 40 years uh, history. But tradition only help us to study the past and help us to figure out our strategy for the future. In Chinese, we call zi gu jian jin. That tradition is only, well, I think uh, the best use for that purpose. And then in our industry, the in innovation is the only way for us to survive. And, in, and that also shows our ambition. So I think the both humble, I mean, I mean, what, what strategy can help us is only that much. And the only thing can help, help us is innovation. And I think the, and I'm so glad, in, I think the best time in MSR because the Microsoft is in ever need of the MSR to step up in all this uh, uh, aspect. And then this is just a quick summary. I'm sure uh, many of you are good friends, uh, particularly the old, our old friend and uh, also our uh, the great partner know some of this number we actually uh, been been able to do in Asia. And then I think I want to thank you because I think uh, almost mo most of this we cannot do without our partnership with you. And this this slide, which I think the particular we use this slide to actually show uh, to the local uh, partner, which is not just academic, also our uh, the commercial enterprise partner. One KPI we keep track, I think in the middle, the 16.45. Microsoft is a platform company. Uh, people know we are a technical platform company, but we are also, particularly uh, in, in front of the, uh, the President Yang, I mean, I'm, I know your business school, but I, I don't want to, Guan Gong Mian Qian Shua Da Dao, uh, I would. We also. We. I also. We also like to think ourselves is a platform for economic economic value. So because because one KPI we keep track track is one dollar Microsoft make how much money our partner make, and then today is about sixteen point five dollars. And this is very important because we want the pie to be bigger, and we are part of the pie. And particular for Microsoft is a multinational company. We go to any region. We, as a platform, we actually uh, go to help to grow the local economy, generate value, generate the wealth together. That's really the, the only way we can have a sustained business. And I usually, of course, I know here we all academic people. I mean, we care money less. I, I told, but this is really an analogy how we think about the part, how important the partnership to us. And, and I think the, uh, the in, in MSR, and we're so glad, I mean, we invest, we invest the, our money and time on academic collaboration. And then in, our, in some of our, our business, for instance, uh, we have this uh, Microsoft Venture Accelerator helping the, the startup community. So that's just, the, it's a very consistent as the corporate uh, strategy and, and just want to share, share with you uh, that very core thinking. Research collaboration, and we, we work with the faculty around Asia Pacific, and this, this particular uh, uh, picture is the Connect for Sign Language, which we did with uh, Chinese Academy of Science. And it's a very meaningful stuff. Many of you see the demo, which is basically using the speech and the vision technology to actually uh, help people who have uh, uh, hearing uh, dis disability to actually communicate. Uh, with computer or with, or with someone else. And then this one actually received the, our CEO award for uh, the accessibility, I mean, uh, the award. And I think the team actually on behalf of the, the, co the uh, co collaborative team actually received the award. And, and we like to do more of this and, and because this is not really purely for, this is really, it's far away from for profit and really have a contribution back to the society. And talent, uh, uh, that, that's also part of the part of our partnership. Uh, the, also, the collaboration uh, principle. We, we, the of course we care. Uh, there's a good talent pipeline. Can, who can join Microsoft and and uh, work with us to actually uh, realize our our dream? But at the same time, we also we also help for the talent really at large. We, uh, we care about entire IT industry. We also care about diversity, right? Uh, uh, 
we, women in, in Stern and all this stuff, anything we can do. Not to mention in, in China, I think it's so easy to understand. I mean, uh, uh, Deng Xiaoping's famous call, right? You need to really address this uh, in, when the kids are very young. For instance, the diversity issue, I think the, every time I discuss this with the faculty, I think the, uh, we always, we, I, I always want to go a little bit uh, the further, like to high school, to middle school, or even eventually to, high, to uh, elementary school and the kindergarten, so we can really address this. So, so last, most, most, uh, most students uh, or young faculty went through our program, eventually really not end up working for Microsoft, but we do believe this is good for our industry. We also believe if you have a good experience, the, one of the things I told the, our MRC team and also our researcher is the, as long as we make sure the, the, our internship student has a good experience in MSRA, then I think we achieve our goal because in the future, even they become our competitor, they will be our, they will, they will be our good partner and good competitor. And then if, but if they have a bad experience, not, not to mention they won't join us and then they won't be our good partner. So I think that's really the, the optimal goal, we have to do all this program. And the rest of them just, bo just bonus. Academic exchange, uh, we, yesterday we are in uh, Beida doing the 21st century computing conference. We also did this, did that event with Tsinghua uh, so many times. Today, again, thanks uh, uh, Professor Yao, and then we can actually do this together. And, and I think this is the event. Personally, I really feel uh, so attached because uh, the, I talk about friendship and uh, also really get together. We, we as a researcher, as an educator, how do we share the uh, best practice and uh, experience? And totally looking forward to the program in the next two days. And then uh, President Yang also mentioned the curriculum. Uh, we actually, on and off, we actually been teaching some class, uh, particularly in China, sorry to our overseas partner because the distance, we cannot really quite do the curriculum. But with the MOOC, I think the, this, so this year, we, we actually do something we never done before. We actually work with uh, Professor Yao uh, and uh, come up with a joint, uh, joint syllabus and uh, uh, class for big data. And we want to use this experience, and, but with MOOC, we are actually going to produce MOOC content so we can share. So I think uh, this, this actually let me feel really has a big bang for the box. So we can actually not just cover one university, hopefully we can uh, help. Uh, we can actually, if the, suppose the, 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 the material is good, which I'm confident is good, I, we can share with more our partner. And then uh, the, the class actually is going on as we speak. And uh, uh, I, I gave the first, uh, first one, actually I gave the second one, because the first one, the Satya decide to visit the day I'm going to give the first one. Of course, I need to give way. So we actually uh, brought all the students to go to Satya's section. So that's become the first one. Then I, my is second one. And then, uh, and, and I think this is a class I also feel we at, we at the industry research lab can actually provide hopefully some unique value because we actually know some practical issue. We also build product and services. So we not be, besides the uh, solid foundation, we also give our uh, experience and also uh, the, the, uh, the advice and the thinking and along this practical line. Uh, and, and, uh, so uh, we, we, if, if it's successful, we probably will, we might actually end up doing more. And one, the, last but not least, I also hope this is also something good for our researcher because we, different than most, different than the faculty, we do research, same as you guys, but we don't, really, we don't teach. And when you don't teach, uh, you actually might miss opportunity to understand the subject in the deeper and, the, and uh, even broader uh, the, the aspect and I think even for me to produce my my first my first class to actually tie all these things together it really take me like uh, 30 40 hours just really make sure I understand uh, well enough particularly not to mention Tsinghua students are the, the top absolutely the smartest the the student they will ask me a lot of tough questions so and I think uh, hopefully this also help me help the older uh, the researcher involved actually get deeper understanding of this topic so uh, thanks, and this is uh, the just quick summary, and I look forward to talk to, to you 
uh, during the break and also talk to you during the section. And welcome again. Thanks.